there are landmarks in the growth of a city, in the growth of a person. And you might say the 50th year to me would be the third phase. First phase is the birth and the childhood and growing up and learning. And the second phase is adolescence, wild, uh, but also settling down already, grounding yourself, rooting, but still being very much introverted into our own city affairs. The third phase is not that we have solved or come to a conclusion in the city affairs. This goes on. But I think we are now mature enough to look up and look out and uh, create partnership and express also not only our gratitude to this country which has hosted us, but also to Sri Aurobindo and the mother and bring to the capital something which I believe could be India's gift to the world. Well, we're here for the Orville exhibition and I think there's many different dimensions of it, let's say, or different purposes. And I was more interested, or most interested, let's say, in showing what really is happening in Orville. Because a lot of information people hear about Orville is about the philosophy of Orville and about maybe the volunteering things one can do. But how is life really in Orville? No? So we try to bring well, the coffee and chocolate and products which are there, and Ecofarm with their pads, or the NGO, Wasteless, um, with their pick it up game. So these things are something you need to really dig into to even find out. We are physically at the Indira Gandhi National Center for the Arts. Why we are here, the event has been chosen not by concept, by accident. They were looking for a place, they offered it for us free. It is a semi governmental organization. If we would like to go to Habitat, it would have cost three bucks. Dr. Karan Singh was in favor, the governing board was in favor. So we came here with the idea to have the conference for civil society. I felt I have responsibilities to serve or to present Oroville in Delhi. Not a lot of people in Delhi know about Oroville. And also we want to invite all the ambassadors of Africa or other parts of the world to attend this 15 years of anniversary of Oroville to celebrate with us. I originally came to represent uh, sustainability and green practices. I'm also helping to represent all of the different um, sustainable crafts in Oroville at the product display. To offer awareness through the body. I came to share with uh, Delhi a little bit what do we do with the coffee. Mark and me, we came with the machine and the grinder to give a taste of our work. The idea is a principle to use the 50 years, 50 years of experience, 50 years of insights as a time of accountability to go out, to talk about what we have done and to, to challenge our own journey and have an exchange with the people outside. And it started off with a lot of uh, people from the government and maybe also more here for yeah, networking between each other. So I think maybe the exhibition of what we're showing hasn't really reached them or they didn't really show such an interest in it. But I really enjoyed the conference and the debates. I found it was quite a genuine discussion where people really wanted to share their opinion or their point of view on what Orville is and what Orville could become. The panels and the information is beautifully displayed and I think it's interesting. It's a glimpse of a little bit what's happening 1,800 kilometers south India. The organizers are very happy with it, but I feel it's a very low-key event. I found that not too many people coming for the event. Personally, I felt like they are like city people. To hear about Ecofam itself, it's like uh, they think, okay, like how, how can we go back to like those days? I just wish there were many more young Delhiites here, much more students from the university. That somehow we haven't managed to tap into that crowd. It comes in the newspaper, people start to talk. I'm sure many people before even didn't hear about Auroville. Others they may have heard and now they see how it's going the process a little bit, no? So it opens like a window between Delhi and Auroville. Well, I think it's very important for the audience to know that Auroville is very much alive, that we have beautiful products that we would like to share with India and abroad. And this is an opportunity for us to reach out Certainly they are most drawn to see the colourful display of products and to understand a little bit of what, um, what Oroville is giving to the world physically and uh, materially, but uh, also to understand a little bit more of what the spirit behind that. We are not talking about the small scale, it's a large scale. We have to share to the world, not only Oroville, not only Delhi.
is beyond that. And this exhibition show our work which we have been done and our vision. This exhibition show all that, no? The past and future. Whatever we have been done, what is our vision also for the future? There are a lot of curiosity from the people. Having all this conversation with the people, I think I will definitely need to go out more and to share what we are doing. Every time we, got, we come out of Orville, with people who, like half of the people here, I haven't known before. And it also brings us more together and us more into like seeing the commonalities, despite all of us being here for a different reason. So maybe sometimes within Orville also to take a step back, to come together by taking that step back. Sri speaks about almost like three steps of this yoga. You seek, you research, you aspire, then something comes down and then you try to apply in your own life. You bring it into matter, into your body, into your heart, into your soul. The soul is like a spark of the divine. Then the third step is extent. Don't keep it closed in you, but extend and become transparent and share whatever experience you have gone through.